Hey everybody, this is Ryan, and welcome to another episode of Terraria with the Necro Pack. Okay, so last time I promised that we would take a look at uh, some of these uh, vanity outfits that I got with those power-up icons, these Castlevania outfits. And you are looking at the Richter Belmont. Um, yeah, I kind of like it. It's not my favorite. I will show you my favorite here in a minute. But um, I kind of like it. It looks pretty good. Next, I am going to show you the Lisa outfit. And look at that. Look at that. I'm a lady. I'm a lady in a nice, pretty dress. No. But, I mean, I mean, you can wear... It's okay to wear pretty things. Especially soft dresses that make you look, make you look nice and make you feel pretty. What is that? There's nothing wrong with feeling pretty, all right? <laughs> I think we need to kill this guy. He's shooting things off. He is in my house, and now he's dead. Deserves your right for being a jerk. Um, you know, I got, um... I'm gonna check something really quick. I got all these diamonds and stuff. Make a vanity mirror, and that's it. Uh, pretty easy to make too and it looks kind of cool I might have to do that anyway completely getting off topic and all right and so this is my favorite one this is the um, Alucard set and um, this is hands down my favorite I love this cosmetic outfit I should know these are all cosmetic yeah they do have some defense but they don't have any bonuses so I wouldn't really uh, suggest this being your main armor, but you know, it's a vanity set and it looks pretty awesome. So the next thing I wanted to show you guys is a lot of you have been like, hey, you need to give a band of regeneration to the guy so you see what you can make. Well, this is what you can make. It is a soul charged ring. You need two bands of regenerations, eight blood bars. So you can actually get this really early. And uh, yeah, that's a pretty awesome band of regeneration effects plus the cross necklace effects. Um, yeah, that's, that's a no brainer. That's freaking awesome accessory i say that's one of the best accessories you can get <laughs> so yeah that's absolutely gonna get that one and next what's going on who's shooting is it you again you know what just get out of here get out of here yeah that's what i think of you just get out of here you are not welcome at my house to shoot things get out of here no. All right. Showed that jerk. Anyway, what we are going to do... Um, I don't know if I'm going to have enough uh, dirt to successfully do this. We are going to go up to a floating island, which is pretty unusual because once you have... You know, once you go to a floating island and you get the stuff, well, you really have no need to go back there. But... You do in this mod. So we're gonna come up here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extend it out so we can hopefully get some bad guys to show up. What is that? What is that? We got a, is that a female angel? A female angel. Well, I think we should kill it. And now it's dead. Mission accomplished. A Valkyrie? Awesome. They're not dropping anything for me though. Getting getting pretty fast uh, spawn rate, so that's good. I was a little worried it'd be hard to get stuff to show up up here, but that does not look like it's going to be a problem. All right, so um, in my running back over here, I missed an I missed to drop some angelite. And I believe that's the whole reason I'm up here is because you can make use this to make some armor and uh, quite possibly some weapons. Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap! That is an archangel with a lot of hit points. Wow! That was holy crap! That is a lot of hit points. That was unexpected. And we do got some boss music. Alright. 
not having a hard time killing him though. Man, if I can pick up some of these meteors as they come down too, that would get off me! That would just be awesome. Hey Pegasus, haven't seen you in a while. You wanna help me kill this Archangel? We can still be buddies. We can still be friends, I'm cool with that. Wow, 13,000 hit points. That is a lot of hit points. Mildly concerned about the ammo situation. Mildly concerned. Okay, I am... I am concerned. <laughs> I lied about being mildly concerned. I am concerned. This does lots more damage. Sword does lots more damage. And since I am not concerned about him killing me... Okay, yeah, great time for you to show up. Hey, Wyvern. Okay, out of ammo. So one thing I made were these annoying cupcakes, and I just now realized that I actually got a really bad one. Um, these are doing about 100 damage. And I got really crappy ones. I mean, it was like 20% less damage or something like that. These are kind of worth it, though. These were some power-up icons. And a stick of dynamite. And you get five. Which, I'll take that. Okay. He's down to 2,000. But, unfortunately, um... I don't have any ranged attacks left. I do have a bloody flail. No! All right, guys. So, um, unfortunately, using the bloody flail caused my game to crash, which was not cool. Not cool at all, because I only had like 2,000 more hit points on that guy. So what I did, and actually it uh, looked like it made it so none of that stuff saved. So um, I went and I got, I'm, I have as many uh, Hellphone, Hellphone? Hellphone? <laughs> uh, the Hellstone Meteor shot as I can have now. So like, I mean the Meteor Head Hellstone versions. And, and... Um, we have... Oh, I want these. We now have a Blood Moon. Which is big because I believe that helps with the, uh, the Archangel spawn. And there it is. <laughs> so, it was so much fun the first time. Let's do it all over again. <laughs> but this time... I should have way more than enough ammo. I actually have 2,000. These things stack up to 500. So, I should be good in that department. And I believe he drops uh, something that you can use for armor. I'm pretty excited to get this. Yeah, it's pretty cool that he incorporated uh, floating islands like this. I really like this a lot, actually. Uh, floating islands, I don't know, they're kind of worthless, you know? Once you get the treasure off of them, there is no reason to come back to them. Well, there's a little bit, I guess, to get the wyverns, but not a big deal. So it's really cool for him to add a bunch of NPCs. And then really, you'd have no reason to even expect anything to be up here. But now you do, because I told you so. I want these feathers. Okay, so he is almost dead, so I'm gonna go ahead and break out my bloody flail again. 
I don't think so. I think I'm gonna go ahead and continue to use this strategy. Man, he used up almost a thousand of my ammo. That is kind of insane. And that's with, uh, with using those cupcakes again that do like 100 damage each. That's 2,500 damage. And he didn't drop it! What? That's crap. He dropped more of the Agelite, but he didn't drop, uh, what are you supposed to drop? So, alright, I'm gonna take all this Angelite down and see what we can make. And then I'll figure out what I'm gonna do about that Archangel. Alright guys, so I wanted to show you what you can make with all this stuff really quick. Alright, so first of all, Angelite. It takes five Angelites to make one Angelite bar. Um, I think you made it at the uh, Plutarian Forge. I don't remember. Anyway, yeah, you can see you can make blocks. There's a couple swords you can make. I was a little surprised that this sword, my Night Sky Sword, is still a better weapon than uh, these two. It seems like it might, it probably should have been uh, um, dated by now, but apparently not. But um, you can see here in the recipes for the armor and for one of the swords, and uh, for some of this stuff down here, that I need this little uh, this little gold plate, and that arch that archangel big mini boss fight that i had he drops this golden plate uh, unfortunately he didn't drop any for me so well i can't make anything <laughs> so i'm gonna have to go farm i gotta farm more anyway because i you need a you need a lot of bars i mean look at this uh, you, need, you need 10 bars for each piece oh i'm sorry you need uh let's see 20 15 and 14 for each piece of armor so man you need a lot of angelite to be able to make this stuff but um, that's exactly what I am going to go do I'm gonna go uh, farm the hell out of those angels cuz you know if you're not killing angels then then what are you doing you know you should just you should just be spend your day killing angels <laughs> and then these daggers you might see over here that you need three enchanting stone and I have no idea where you get enchanting stone from I have to get that figured out because, well, those look kind of cool as well. So in the last episode, I asked you guys what you kind of thought about live commentary versus recorded commentary. And uh, it was pretty much overwhelming that you guys wanted live. And I, I kind of agree with it. But Rashasa Dean made a really good point. And he's like, well, hey, why don't you just kind of combine both? And so I thought about it and I was like, well, you know, that's not a terrible idea. Because once I stop recording, I farm stuff just like you are watching now. And I get drops, but it's just, I can't keep doing commentary that entire time. It's just, that just doesn't work. <laughs> so, I was like, well, why don't I just record it, and then I can just kind of tell you guys what happened, and then you can see all the drops, but then you still get live reactions, and then it's, it's perfect, and everybody's happy, right? Yay, happy. Anyway, so I am running around with this Wyvern Discipline Stick. And what this does is this basically is a one-shot kill on the Wyverns that swoop down. Uh, you get this from the Valkyries. Kind of a low drop, but then I ended up getting like three or four in a row. And they sell for like 18 gold, I think, so kind of good. And they, they are an instant kill on the Wyverns. Also, I got a turn Turnuso sword. Uh, that was from the Male Angels. Um, I run around with that, uh, I think at the end of the video, I think I just swing that a whole bunch. But, I killed the Archangel a whole bunch more times, and, uh, I had made a comment about where do I get enchanting stones from. Well, he drops enchanting stones, and he also drops this Divine Blades, which is ridiculous! I mean, what, what, what the hell is even going on there? It's like this giant sword of death, constant stab. I, I'm pretty sure that's uh, in the description, actually. <laughs> but yeah, and then, uh, you know, so I get that, and then I finally got enough plates. Oh my god, I had to work forever to get enough plates. And then I get this amazing, amazing suit of armor. It doesn't have any bonuses, at least no bonuses that it uh, tells you about, which I thought was kind of weird. But it does look pretty freaking awesome, has really good defense, and uh, yeah. So that's going to do it for the for this video. Thank you so much for watching everybody and until next time, see you guys.